This particular manhole hosted a 15, a 12, and an 8 inch pipe with moderate corrosion along the top of the bench and invert channels just above the spring line. The application process and specs for Warren Environmental's S301 epoxy call for a complete lining of the manhole including the invert channels. As with any epoxy coating, surface preparation was paramount. The manhole was first pressure washed with a 4 to 6,000 psi of water. The surface was then treated with a 30% muriatic acid solution followed by a diluted bleach and TSP solution to remove any oils that might have embedded themselves into the pores of the concrete. Once completed, a pH test was done to ensure that a neutral surface was being coated. Once the manhole surface had been properly prepared, flow-through plugs were then inserted to halt the flow of the sewage so the invert and the channels could be prepared and coated. It's important for specs to call for lining the inverts to ensure 100% reduction in I&I. &I. Oftentimes, when municipalities line their main lines, water infiltration will travel between the new liner and the old pipe exiting inside of the manhole. If the infiltration is above the flow line and can be seen, chemical grouting can be used to stop the infiltration. However, if the infiltration is below the flow line and the inverts are not lined, the manhole will continue to allow the treatment of clean water. Once the inverts had been completed, the manhole was then coated with S301 epoxy at a minimum thickness of 125 mils and up to 250 mils in one application. When the manhole had had a chance to cure for about two hours, the first step of our testing process began. Stainless steel dollies were glued to the surface of the epoxy and left to cure overnight. Less than 24 hours later, an adhesion test was performed using the previously glued dollies. An instrument was attached to the dolly and pressure was applied. The goal of the test was to measure the bond strength of the epoxy to the original substrate. Finally, SMART performed a SPARK test. On every manhole rehabilitation, this is an important process. The holiday detector is grounded to the steel frame of the manhole. Then, depending on the millage of the coating, a charge of 14,000 volts was released through a copper brush. When the brush comes across a pinhole in the epoxy due to the heat released in the curing process, an alarm sounds. The hole is then marked and touched up, ensuring that the manhole is 100% sealed and protected from harmful sewer gases. Once completed, the S301 is a standalone structural epoxy resistant to both chemicals and harmful gases and able to withstand a head pressure of over 600 pounds per square inch. For more information on Warren's S301 100% high build solid epoxy, call at 508-947-8539.